Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Welcome back, <clears throat> Dukes and Duke S. Eddie at TV. I'm Eddie Ed, back with another reaction video. We got Rachel Ray, man. Rachel Ray cooking videos. <clears throat> I'm hungry already. I'm about to make myself hungrier. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And if you're subscribed, man, join the membership. And if you're already joined the membership, appreciate you for supporting the channel. Definitely. Uh, this video is going to be a nice one. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. Let's watch Rachel Ray cook some orange chicken. I always wanted to learn how to make orange chicken uh, myself because we buy it from, you know, the Asian spots like Panda Express. That's not really Asian, Asian. That's like American Asian. But Panda Express, what, you know, whatever place you go to to get it, I wanna learn how to make it because, I, I, like, you know, a lot of times I like to use cleaner ingredients. And if I learn how to make it one way, I can, I know I can alter some ingredients that they put in it. So, like, you know, like if they use a certain type of oil, I can use a different type of oil, you know, that's more more uh, healthier than the one that they use for it so i would definitely love to learn this and how to make this and then i will tweak it my and, and make it my own way so it can be a little bit healthier than what it is it might not be 100 percent healthy but it's gonna be healthier but anyway man rachel ray she is a good cook by visualization <laughs> i've never tried to rachel ray's food before but if you have drop it down in the comments man i would like to see and hear if you have and if you have made stuff that she has made Drop it down in the comments because a lot of these cooking shows that used to be on TV or that's on YouTube, you know, I want, I always wonder like, do people actually try it? And if they do try it, is it good? Did they make it? And so on and so forth. So if you have tried it or have cooked something similar or have made orange chicken, but not like Rachel Ray, drop it down in the comments. I, I want to know. Let me know, man. Talk to your Duke, man. Appreciate you guys. Let's hop straight into the video. Idiot TV. This one is a broccoli orange chicken for the sauce. Okay. Make, um, chicken broth. I, I usually use chicken broth because it's a chicken dish, but they gave us beef broth. So let's just say any broth you like. A quarter cup of uh, rice wine vinegar. It's a quarter cup of everything. Stock. How'd she say a quarter cup, but then she didn't even measure it? A quarter cup, and then she just poured it. Light brown sugar. Whoa. And I use the pourable kind, so it's I just kind of eyeball it. Okay. A uh, quarter cup of C C C C C See that's a good note. I'm not gonna lie, because when you when you cook a lot, you begin to just feel how much ingredients you need. You don't need no quarter cup measurement tool, one, two, three, four, five scoops. You could just eyeball it and feel feel where it's going because you cook so much. You just you just have that knowledge. You just have it. You just know what you're doing. You like that's how I cook. I cook to where I just I don't do measurements. I just do it. Uh, you know I just okay that's too much. Let me not put no more. I, it's just it just flows like that. But when you baking, I'm not gonna lie. Baking is different. Baking you have to use measurements because it's different. You know it, it's it's more of a chemistry pro project I guess. But anyway, uh yeah when you cook. So I'm trusting, I'm trusting Rachel. She sounds she sound like she know what she's talking about. Spicy sauce you like. This is sriracha, which is spicy, but not too hot. A quarter cup of tamari or soy sauce. Now we just need soy one sauce. tablespoon Ooh. of orange marmalade. Ooh. About an inch and a half of fresh ginger chopped. Ginger. And then I use the zest and juice of an orange, or in this case, it's a blood orange. Ooh. I know. Oh, she's using a lot of it. <clears throat> then we're gonna put the sauce on to gently simmer and reduce while we're making the rest of the dish. Okay, okay. Now I do wonder if she's gonna bread Yum. the chicken because that's gonna this be delicious. Guy back here on mm, low. Rachel. The thing that's gonna take you the longest is the rice. It takes about 20 minutes. It's just good old white rice. I cook the rice in stock as well, rather than water, okay, so that it gets okay. a lot of flavor. Yeah, You're okay. Do you be put cooking some salt? Over high temperature, so you want high temperature cooking oil. That means oil that's neutral in flavor that you can see through. That's very light in <clears> color. <throat> um, grape seeds, safflower, sunflower, peanut oil. Those are all great for stir fries, which is basically what we're making. And what about then we're coconut going to oil? Add about two tablespoons of cornstarch to a couple of large egg whites. Ah, cornstarch. 
and this is going to help us crisp up our chicken. Okay, yeah, because we want the crispiness of the chicken. That's what I was worried about. The chicken can be oh, white a little or messy. dark meat or a mixture of the two. See a little messy, Cook the son. chicken in two batches if you have to. See, it becomes this beautiful, smooth coating for our chicken. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to cook this in a little bit of oil and get the chicken out of the pan so we can add the broccoli to the pan. The chicken that's coated with egg whites and cornstarch is now out of the pan. Okay, it don't look it's that crispy, like Rachel. What you did? What you like doing? 90% of the way there. I brown it until crispy on both sides. Okay. I slide it out so we can get the broccoli stir fry going. I let the bro broccoli brown a little bit, which makes it kind of nutty tasting. Nutty. In our high temperature cooking oil. And we're going to throw in the whites first. I don't know what you're talking about, Rachel. What you mean, some nutty? Chili peppers. The last thing you add is your reduced sauce, the tops of your scallions, and your sliced garlic. You don't want the garlic to singe, so you put it in just oh. the last minute or so okay. while your sauce is thickening up. I got you. And this is a combination of our chicken and broccoli, chilies and garlic. We're now going to add our ginger orange sauce down over the whole thing. Okay, I thought she was gonna cook the chicken Please. separately, but she Gorgeous. didn't. It's it looked like it might it looked like it might smell good. <clears throat> it looked good. Toss that together. Make sure everybody's coated. <laughs> Make sure everybody's and then the coated. Chicken is hot through. And I just fluff the white rice with a fork. All right, all right, all right. It Stick a spoon good. in it. I try it. And then when we bring our bubbling chicken and broccoli to the okay, table, okay, okay. I top it oh, with she what's got the left nuts. of what's the that? dry roasted peanuts with a special coating on oh, it. That's, that, oh, those so are heavy. Much. Hey, and yo. Crunchy peanuts and a drizzle of toasted sesame oil. Then you fill the bowl with the saucy chicken. Okay. Okay, she and the brown sauce with the nuts and the orange. Oh my god, I can't even talk to you. This smells so good. <laughs> and then the rice up on top so you don't get that sog out. What happens? Chopsticks. There you go. Make your own takeout. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I I don't I don't I don't know, man. I like my <laughs> I like the orange chicken crispy. <clears throat> Rachel, that looked good. I'm not gonna lie, but I, I was hoping for a crispy orange chicken. You know, like how you have at Pan Express. I, I like that crisp. I love that crisp. So I, I need it to be crispy. But this this ve this very well may may be real good. You know, this this could be delicious. It could be better than the crispy one. Who knows? I don't know. But I I, I do want and prefer a crispier chicken. I'm excited, man. I'm hungry. You guys hungry? Let's order something, man. Call, call somebody hey, let me get somebody right here <clears throat> hey man that's it for the video appreciate you guys for watching it man uh hanging out with your duke he said he had you already know the name i don't even know why i'm saying it um let me know what your thoughts are man if you guys cook often or not because i cooked often i cook every week sometimes four four days a week i try to meal prep because it's, you know it's better for me but yeah let me know what y'all thought about this video would y'all would y'all try this recipe or would y'all not let me know City TV, catch you next video.